selling merchandise is all part of the modern game with politics. In fact, it goes back a long way. Buttons, pins, posters, whatever. And Reform is no ex- exception to this. But Reform is a p- party that builds its whole image on being very British and being pre- treasuring things made in Britain. Well, perhaps not. Let's have a look at this article. This is from The Independent the other day. (laughs) This was from one day ago. Reform UK conference merch from Save Britain caps made in China to £35 ties signed by Richard Tice. The Reform UK merchandise stand at their Birmingham conference is offering a wide range of items for sale. It truly looks thrilling, as you can see below. From ties signed by Richard Tice to caps emblazoned with, let's say, Britain. The caps that were manufactured in China are on sale for £20. Anyone who's ever had occasion to run up orders of baseball caps or deal with stuff like that will know very well they're produced at, unless they're really high quality, they're produced at quite low costs and in large amounts, as are T-shirts of this, the kind the Reform would likely be running up. So we have a t- baseball caps that probably cost no more than a few quid maximum being uh, sold at a massive markup by a company that prides itself on its supposed patriotism at 20 quid. T-shirts manufactured in Bangladesh and emblazoned with the Reform UK logo on sale for £15, while beanie hats can be purchased for 20 quid. That must be some exciting bloody beanie hat. I bet it's just nylon and a bit of fluff. Bright blue ties, hand signed by Mr Tice, could be purchased for £35. You can see here that one of those blue ties further down... I think they have an enlarged version of it. Oh, yes, here we go. Continue reading. That's a fantastic tie. The kind of thing you might think of um, a security guard on a low-rent pub wearing who is playing a ba- being bouncer or, or something like that, or a, a, a minor official in, in wearing it as part of their uniform. Absolutely hideous. It kind of just goes to show that, you know, that reform is all about the image rather than the reality, as with so many other political parties. We've had a week where we've had Keir Starmer and his endless suits being made uh, by by people and having donations for money for those and so on. This is, to my mind, no better. If you broadcast an image of being a patriotic party, it might you might behoove you to go and source the stuff and have it made in England instead of churning out Chinese baseball caps are sold at massive, massive markups to try and, well, effectively fleece people as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>